What's up, family? Everything's been good over here. Life is life is great, and I uh, hope everything's good with you. Here's my new toy. Just got it. I'm gonna unload it and uh, try to get it back up to snuff. So. So, if you look in there, wasps, mud daubers have been making their their home in here. They're all over the place in there, but uh, looks pretty good. The yoke pivots, the yoke pivots all the way around, 180. It's a little. A little stuck because of all the mud mud dubbers they're they're in there all as well I don't know if you can see it in there they're in the they're in the dust port right here right. so you gotta break that free other than that it looks pretty good I'm gonna fire it up right now and uh, we'll see what happens The young man I bought it from said that it had been sitting at least 20 years. Yeah. Run smooth. So now uh, we'll take it apart and uh, clean all the pieces and parts and nooks and crannies and whatnot. So I'm pretty much done cleaning it. I want to armor all 
the cords and uh, all the plastic parts. Maybe give a light oil with like an oily, old oily rag on all the metal parts. But man, night and day, night and day. So there's been a some few developments. We've been working on the remodel. I'll walk you through it real quick. And we had the electrician come by. And they rewired it. There's no light in this room except the one for the hall. Right now, not until we drywall, but we decided to put in some windows there. Another window there. This was going to be a bigger window, and then uh, we changed our mind. Uh, we saw that it was too big, so we framed it down. Another window there. And finally one here in the shower. So, as you can see, there's uh, room for can lights. Right? And uh, I have to frame a door right here for the closet and close up this door uh, that goes into another bedroom. So we had that happen. And then two days ago, we had a tornado warning. which didn't materialize, thank God. We were praying that uh, it would pass, and it did. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we were spared from that, and I don't, I didn't hear that it touched down anywhere, uh, but I might be wrong. Uh, what else has happened since uh, the last time? I've been teaching woodshop class the last few weeks, so I've been busy. I had uh, I had my toolbox from when I was an apprentice uh, with the Carpenters Union, and I still have my toolbox here. So I had these uh, young gentlemen, 13 and 11, and they drew their own uh, their own plans from from mine they modeled mine and uh, drew it up themselves right so I've been blessed that way we've been uh, busy and then uh, I had one of my old apprentices Francisco. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Absolutely, thank you. Thanks for visiting. Yeah. He came and visited, and we had a uh, nice time here. And we had dinner, uh, we had some burgers, and he signed the poster. And uh, we've been having a, we've been having a good time. We've been really blessed. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, while we wait for the end of the world, um, let me kind of leave you with this. And some of you guys are going to have to read between the lines, I suppose. I own a dog, right? I own a dog. And although some people try to raise their dogs like children, I mean, we love our dog, part of the family, but definitely not one of our kids. Uh, we might joke around that she's one of our kids, but she's not one of our kids. But if I take her in to go get a haircut or, 
her uh, nails on her paws clipped. She has no choice. I, as the owner, I decide that. If somebody forced me, right? If somebody forced me to get a haircut or shave my beard against my will, that would claim ownership. And though, like it or not, man or woman, bond or free, we belong to someone. Doesn't matter who you are. We all belong to someone. Now, the Bible says that we've been bought with a price and we're not our own. Some people don't like that. And yet, the owner says, you have free will. You don't want to be owned? I don't have to own you. Right? That's God. He claims ownership on us. But if we don't want to be owned, he lets us go free. So if somebody tries to force me to cut my hair, for example, shave my beard, and cut the nails on my paws, well, that would claim ownership because it's against my will. So there's entities out there. They read like alphabet serial on both sides. This side and that side. Right? But his kingdom is not of this world. But in the end, we're not called to fight, but we are called to educate. Now, everything's like a domino. You do one thing and that affects another and that affects another. Well, I'm gonna give you my hypothesis on how these dominoes are gonna fall. First, it's forcing something physical, right? Like the haircut. Right? But once that happens, it's going to go to the spiritual and the mental, and they're going to tell you how to think. And, and we're approaching that point. We're approaching that point because it seems the mob rules. <laughs> there's a song called Mob Rules, and it, uh, there's a line in it and says, if you listen to fools, the mob rules. That's just to say that you've got to think for yourself. Come to your own conclusion. There's a lot of things that uh, we're taught from our youth. That you've got to wonder, how blind am I that I follow this without question? And we're all in different stages of awakeness. And I say awakeness, not wokeness. So think for yourself. Think for yourself because it says that, uh, and when I say it says, I'm talking about the scriptures. It says that uh, the devil has come down and he knows his time is short. Now, I don't know how much time we have, but according to what I see, it's not that long. And when I say not that long, it could be a hundred years. I don't know. I don't know. But I know that if it's cloudy, it might rain tomorrow or it might rain today. And I see the clouds rolling in. So I'll end with this. In the book of Joshua, Joshua said to the children of Israel, 
Now, the true Israel, the true Israel is Jesus Christ. He's the ultimate Israel. So the children of Israel, listen what Joshua told the children of Israel. Choose this day whom you will serve. And I've talked about that before. Choose you this day whom you will serve. So long as you have breath in your nostrils and you have consciousness in your mind, there's a chance to make that choice. It also says, today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, call unto him. Because he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Peace.